What's going on, it's the Rat Perry. It is a new month, so you know what that means. It's time to go over all of my physical media cops for last month, which is May. So what I'm gonna do first is run through all of the movies that I bought on my Tuesday vlogs, because I spoke about those movies enough, so there's no need to really put so much emphasis on those. So I'm gonna get through those, and then I'm gonna go through all the ones I didn't post that I've just been ordering throughout the week. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, of course, that Knock at the Cabin Steel book. This joint is Heat. I had to get Creed 3. Definitely cop after seeing it in theaters. Dope movie. Love the slip cover. I love the kind of shine and sheen it has, but still being kind of matte. And again, I usually go for the cover art when it comes to what you know the choice of copying a 4K or a regular Blu-ray or still book. It's all about the art for me. And this was the art that I liked most out of all of the picks. So Creed 3. Next with Shazam the Steelbook. And again, like I just said, this had the best looking artwork. So I copied this instead of the, the, the Blu-ray or the 4K. I just love how this looks compared to the rest of them. So Shazam Fury the God Steelbook. Next, Operation Fortune. Super dope movie, super dope action film. So glad that it came with slipcover because I honestly did not know, but this thing is gorgeous. So there's that. Another new release that I just bought, Dungeons and Dragons. I feel like I should have bought the still book because that joint looks even more fire. Hell, I might return this and get that. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, had to get Dungeons and Dragons. Such a surprise of a film that dropped this year. Next, this Dread Steel book from Best Buy. So fire. Your slip cover. You take that away. And it's just a textless picture, if you will. I am the law. That's hard. Next is the Army of Darkness Steelbook. Seen this thing too many times and I just got tempted. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this so I can have the full Evil Dead collection once Evil Dead Rise drops. I gotta have them all. Another one, Underworld. This is yet again one that I kept seeing when I did my pickups and I just decided to pull the trigger on it. Only $14, love this artwork. I had to buy it. Another one. Men in Black Steelbook. This is so fire, man. This caught my attention the first time I saw it. And then again, thought about it when I did another pickup. Had to go ahead and grab this. Crank Steelbook. This is a Best Buy exclusive, kind of like the Dread. And we take the slip cover off. It's him shocking himself with adrenaline. Super dope. Love anything that Jason Statham does. So I feel like I want to have like a Jason Statham collection of all of his movies because. As far as I'm concerned, he could do no wrong. Old steel book that I got from Best Buy was only about $12, so I figured, why not copy it, you know what I mean? Wasn't a huge fan of the movie, but I liked M. Night just for what he does. And again, I want to give it another rewatch after seeing it, and I figured, why not get the steel book? So, there's that. A few oldies but goodies. Got the Godzilla 4K. I got the 4K 300. I had to cop these and upgrade them from a DVD because I have both on DVD, but this cover art, when I saw them, I was like, that's mine. Another film that I had on DVD, but I had to upgrade into this V for Vendetta. Dope artwork. That's super dope, man. Hell of a poster. Next is The Lighthouse. I got this on sale for like seven bucks. I'm not sure why. This is a movie that I really enjoyed and I haven't seen since I saw it in theaters. So might as well bring it home because I definitely enjoyed it. Um, beautiful film, shot in black and white. Dope slipcover. Escape from New York. Never owned this movie for some reason, but I do enjoy it a lot. So I figured I might as well get the 4K since they had it at Best Buy instead of ordering it. I love just pick it up and take it home opposed to just waiting. I'm impatient like that. So there's that. Children of the Corn. This is the remake that was done in 2020, but just released this year. So happy that it came with a slip because I honestly did not know it didn't advertise it or anything. So this is a plus that it came like this. It's not the greatest movie, so I can't suggest it to you if you want to watch it. But if you do, go ahead, take a shot. Next movie, Wrath of Man. Um, I never bought the movie, so I figured I might as well just copy it. Kind of mad it didn't come with a slip cover, but beggars can't be choosers. It was only like 10 bucks. Fast and the Furious collection. I honestly didn't own any of these movies but Fast Five. And I figured after seeing Fast 10, I might as well get the whole collection. And then doing the ranking, I actually liked more of these movies than I thought I did. So 
I just got the box set with all of the movies on there. So, it's all about family. <laughs> Next, It Follows Steelbook. I've been wanting this thing for so long and I finally was able to find a used but good version. Oh, this is so hard. I love this artwork. Since I saw it, I was in love with it. And it's one of my favorite horror movies, period. I think it's in my top 10, I believe. If not my top 10, my top 15. And I have to show this movie the respect that it deserves. So, it follows. Still book. Next, I have a few Arrow video films. Children of the Corn. This is one of my favorite horror movies, period. Always had it on DVD, but I was like, you know what? Let me upgrade it and show this movie some respect. Slipcover is so fire. It's 4K. You, you can't go wrong with this. I love this artwork too. Oops. So dope. Next is an Aero Video Collection Edition of Tremors. This is so heat. Oh, this is dope. And it came with a lot of good stuff in it too. It comes with these posters right here. And you flip it around, and you got the City of Perfection, which is so fire. I love this. I'm gonna hang this up somewhere. It has a coupon for the store that they were in, which is also pretty dope. And then there's a poster here of the cover. You know, I don't need to pull it out to show y'all, but it's just the same exact picture like this right here. And on the back of it is the original poster, which is also dope. A few cards, and it's like a booklet detailing the production of the movie, the trivia and all kind of stuff. Super dope collector's edition, man. And I found this on eBay. I found both on eBay, actually. So for those who, you know, are interested to shop on eBay, definitely do it because you can find all kind of exclusives that are out of print that you wouldn't find anywhere else. A lot of times you can find sellers who have these things brand new with the, the seal still on them. Like this had the plastic seal still on it, so it definitely wasn't open. So if you are looking for whatever movies that you've been trying to track down, whatever secret version, go to eBay because I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to find it on there. This next stack is my last bit of films that came from Shout Factory, so I'm gonna run through these right quick. Love all of them. Silver Bullet, classic 80s werewolf film. If you haven't checked it out, definitely dope. Next is the classic Tales from the Hood, one of the best horror films, one of the best horror anthology films out there, and I just love this artwork, you know. I actually found it on eBay again. All these ones that are from the Shout Factory, found them on eBay for decent prices, all sealed. Can't beat it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, gorgeous artwork. Saw this a while ago and finally had to pull the trigger on getting it and add it to my collection. People Under the Stairs, one of Wes Craven's joints. Really love this film. Scared the shit out of me too. And again, Shout Factory with the dope ass artwork. I had to buy this, man. I love how this looks. Jesus, that's so beautiful. And again, eBay. Got your boy hooked up. Next, John Carpenter's Vampires. I mean, look at this cover. I mean, come on. Come on, fam. I had to cop that. I tell you, the Shout Factory can do no wrong with this artwork. Oh my God, I love this. Now this one, beggar. Trick or treat. Ooh. Here's a story about this one, right? I already had the movie. Like I bought this a while ago, but then I stumbled across the Shout Factory version with this amazing artwork for the slipcover. And instead of rebuying the entire film, since I already had it, you know, I don't like having doubles, it's just purposeless. I was able to find a slipcover for sale. So I just bought that and put it over this film. That's all I really wanted. I wanted this dope ass slipcover just to show my respect. Because to me, this artwork looks way better than the steelbook. So I went with this one instead. Now this one is different than Shout Factory, but the art kind of looks a little similar but it's Terror Train. This is an underrated slasher that released in 1980. Has the screen queen, Jamie Lee Curtis in it, and it is a fun movie. It takes place on New Year's, and it's, it's this train with these college students who are just partying, and there's a, a killer that they have to find. Typical premise of a slasher film, but I just love this artwork. It's from Scorpion. Yeah, a company called Scorpion. It's another boutique seller that kind of does the same type of thing that the Shop Factory does with having hand-drawn art instead of just the, you know, the picture of the movie. And it attracted me, so I had to grab this thing. And last but certainly not least, the Scream DVD box set. Now, 
I have all of these movies on Blu-ray, so it's not like I'm buying this because I didn't have them. But again, it's, I'm about being a collector, and, and this just looks so great on my shelf. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love the slip cover over it, and it's just Neb's face to the screen. This is screen one through three. You got Ghostface right there. That's all the movies. I think it has the fourth DVD that's like just bonus material. But again, this just looks gorgeous just to have as a collector. It's almost like that uh, Freddy Krueger one because unfortunately they don't have a Blu-ray box set for Scream or My Man Freddy. So I was like, let me get this just to hold me over until they finally do make some box years later. But it just looks gorgeous. You've probably seen this in my videos in the background, but I bought this earlier last month that came in on the first. So definitely enjoy having this on my show. So that's all that I bought last month. Let me know in the comments what your favorite film that I did get. And let me know what you cop too, because I know there are a lot of other collectors out there. And we got to just keep doing this video, showing what we cop so these companies can keep making this stuff for us. As long as they keep releasing them, even if it's just online, I'm going to keep buying them. I'm never giving up on physical media and I plan to buy them as long as I can and I will continue to always get them. So, but it's kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time, peace. Rap Nerd Productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.